Virgos. What's up, Virgos? How are y'all doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. And this is your general love reading for December 26th of 2021. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your pets, your loved ones. Hope you had a Merry Christmas for those of you who do celebrate. And welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot if it's your first time. Welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. It's good that you came back. I'm happy Spirit led you here. Let's get right into it and see what's going on with you in love, Virgos, okay? Let's see what's going on with you in love, Virgos. Let's see. How is Virgo feeling in love? We got the Empress in reverse. Oh, no. Ten of Wands in reverse. Oof. Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Swords. So this is kind of similar to the live that I did tonight for you guys. Um, what I picked up on in your energy. Yeah, I'm, uh, there's a situation I, I see you giving up on. I feel like it was a lot. It was causing you a lot of stress, and I feel like you decided to give up on it causing a lot of drama king of swords in reverse overall energy could be dealing with an aquarius libra gemini or an aries i'm saying um you and this person are coming up as a match emperor and empress but you are in reverse you are in reverse um i feel like the empress in reverse the first card is always the strongest i feel like the empress in reverse is an energy of no longer giving love to a situation not wanting to give love to a situation anymore the ace of swords is here in reverse this is my card of possibly cutting off communication or two people just unable to see eye to eye um having clashing perspectives sometimes that card means i see the drama with the five of wands i see conflict five of wands you got five of swords two cards about conflict possibly drama okay i see that um and I feel like your energy is just like you're just, you're done. I feel like this is something that was stressing you for a while with the Ten of Wands. It's something that we, a heavy burden you were carrying for a while. And I feel like you finally released it. Um, Nine of Wands in reverse is like the Wounded Warrior card feeling like you were, you know, been through so much through a situation. A lot, a lot that you were trying, possibly trying to fight for or fight through. And you got to the point that you're exhausted now. Like, you don't want to fight anymore for this, you know? So, let me go ahead and clarify these for you, okay? Which deck do I want to use to clarify? Um, let me use this deck here. Why not? Don't forget personal readings. Email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. There's a lot of information in the description box below as far as how to book a personal reading with me, all of my social media information, and there's always information. Um, there's also a link in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading where I will do a full spread over on Vimeo on your person, see how they feel about you, what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. And I'll also pull some advice oracle cards for you to see how you should proceed with dealing with this person moving forward. All right, Virgos. So let's see. Why, why the Empress in reverse here? Why is the Empress in reverse? The Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, boy. With the Hermit. That's your major arcana card. So I, I knew the Empress in reverse was you. Male or female, I knew this was you. I feel like you're... um. You went, you went very spiritually within to try to figure out how to handle this situation, how to, what to do moving forward. And I feel like you decided through your own, with, within yourself and your intuition and your spirit guides that this wasn't it. You know what I mean? Um, this person could have been sneaky towards you because sometimes that seven of swords card in reverse can mean somebody who use malicious intent towards us or just somebody who just wasn't didn't treat us fairly didn't treat us right Taurus energy here some of you were dealing with a Taurus some of you were actually married to this person 
excuse me, are in a very committed relationship with this person for some of you. Um, I feel like you had high intentions here for this person, for this connection. I feel like this is something that you saw, possibly you, you thought you and this person would get married if you weren't already. Like you saw this as a higher level spiritual commitment. I feel like that's why you put so much effort into it with the 10 of wands. I feel like for a while you carried the weight of this connection on your shoulders and I feel like it was just too much for you. Like, I feel like you you realize here, you don't deserve to be this stressed, this burdened by this, you know? I feel like spirituality helped you a lot to like get through this. Show me the five of um the five of cups in reverse. Why is the five of cups in reverse? I feel like you were very sad at one point and you've healed. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse with the hermit. There you go again, your major arcana card. I feel like you went from you went within a lot. I'm proud of you. I feel like you you had to heal. Some of y'all kind of like stayed in the house because the hermit is like a solitary energy, but it's not just a solitary energy. It's an energy of like what you're doing when you're in that alone time, when you are by yourself in the house, when, you know, what you did was you connected to your spirit guides. You connected to the Virgo within and from within you were able to heal with your own intuition, with your own spiritual self. You know what I mean? I feel like this was a spiritual process for you. The Hermit is also a card about learning. I feel like you learned a lot through this process with dealing with this person, everything you went through. I feel like you've learned. I see so much anxiety this person caused you, so much stress this person caused you. I feel like at one point you were very, very sad over this, the loss of this person or disappointed or it was just really hurting you that you had to let this go. But I feel like you've healed. Some of you, you had a lot of sleepless nights and things like that. Let me see the five of swords here. The judgment card. I like it. Scorpio energy with the eight of pentacles. I think you were able to realize here that everything you, all the effort you were putting into this, all the work that you put in, that you were putting into trying to make this connection work. I think you just got slapped in the face with reality. That's what that judgment card is about. The judgment card is really about being reborn. Um, being lifted being enlightened so i feel like you were able to see just exactly what was going on behind closed scenes here with you and this person some of you you were unable to see it for a while because you were blinded by love or because you really cared about this person a lot but i feel like you were able to wake up with the judgment card and see exactly what was going on here okay let's see the nine of wands in reverse the six of swords this is you moving on with the two of pentacles after trying so hard to be flexible towards this because some of y'all really endured a lot like for instance this isn't everybody's situation like for instance some of you you could have been dealing with somebody that was abusive and because of their past or their childhood you you, you felt bad and you stayed because you cared about this person so much and you felt bad because of you know, you know, maybe it's not their fault, you know, but you realize, no, nobody deserves to be abused, whether it's physically, verbally, nobody deserves that. You know what I mean? We all have a, a horrible past, but I mean, not a horrible past. We've all gone through things in the past, but it's how we handle those things that really define us and who we are. You know what I mean? So I feel like a lot of you decided here, like it was time to move forward, move on with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is also about finding your peace. It's also a card about being led spiritually, okay? Let me see the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Justice in reverse tried to pop out. So some of you are dealing with a Libra. And the Justice in reverse is also a card about injustice. Like you weren't being treated right towards this person. Ace of Swords in reverse with the Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy and the Two of Cups. So yeah, I feel like, yeah, there was definitely mutual attraction here between you and this person. I feel like a part of you kind of always feels like you'll always have this soulmate bond with this person or this connection with them. But I feel like with the lovers in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse, it's like y'all also have your differences. Okay. Y'all also have your differences. Y'all also have like, like for some of y'all, y'all don't even have the same goals, like love goals. You know what I mean? I'm getting for some of you like, for instance, there may be a Virgo that wants to live on a farm in five years. You know what I mean? With all your kids and your family and you want to be far away. And then this person wants to be on a beach 
or this person wants to be in the city. Like, I'm just giving you an example. Love goals, you know what I mean? Like, you and this person are not on the same level as far as what you want moving forward in the future. I'm seeing two people, for some of you guys, two people it, that was hard to get along with. Like, there could have been a lot of arguments, a lot of conflict between you and this person. I'm seeing some, some type of, like, like, disagreements that sometimes got pretty heated between the two of you with the five of wands here okay let me see the emperor some of y'all this is somebody you have children with the four of swords in reverse with the two of cups yeah this is your person here you have a connection with them you do um but like i always say in all my reads a connection doesn't mean that somebody you're supposed to be with you can have a connection with a goldfish that doesn't mean that you and the goldfish are supposed to get married and live happily ever after. You get what I'm saying? We have a lot of connections as we go through life, whether they're friendships, you know, work relationships or loved ones. You know, we have connections. Um, and I see the bond you do have with this person. But I feel like um, your person seems kind of restless over you. I mean, I'm not even doing their spread yet, but that just came through. Like, they're pretty restless about the situation. I feel like this is somebody that's still kind of holding on to you, holding on to your energy. Um, yeah, I, I feel like your person is still kind of holding on to this energy. Let me see the five of wands here. Five of cups. Mm, there it is again with the eight of wands. Some of y'all, something happened with messaging, communication, some type of drama with communication. There could have been somebody messaged you or something. It's not for everybody, but I'm seeing messages and drama. Whether it's somebody was messing with somebody, they hit you up. I don't know. It's not for everybody, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing you endure it a lot here. I am. I, I really do see that you've endured a lot. A lot of things that made you unhappy with the nine of cups in reverse. You've really dealt with a lot here with this person. And um, it hurt. It hurt you. It did. It hurt you to give up on this or to let this go or to, you know what I mean, move forward. Um, I feel like it, it was a big step for you. That's why you got the judgment card. The judgment card is a card about making big decisions, life-changing decisions. Oftentimes, a lot of people get that in reverse because they're not able to step up and make these decisions that need to be made in life. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, leaving somebody who's abusing you. That's a big life-changing decision to make. Some women or men, they stay in these connections because they're scared to, to for change. They're scared to leave. They're scared to make a big life-changing decision. So they stay. People are comfortable with what they know. Sometimes the unknown scares people. You know what I mean? Leaving somebody you don't know. You know what I mean? You're scared. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the future holds for you. When you stay with somebody, you know already what you're getting. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of people are scared for change, of, of change. You know? So that's why a lot of people get that judgment card in reverse. They're scared to make a big life-changing decision because they don't, they're don't. they afraid of the unknown. But sometimes, fuck that. Sometimes it, it has to be better than what you're dealing with. You get what I'm saying? That sometimes the grass has to be greener on the other side, you know, especially if you're dealing with abuse or you're in a situation that makes you so miserable and unhappy, you know, because I am seeing a Virgo here that um, went through a lot of stress, went through a lot of stress here. OK, so um, let's look from another deck here and see more about how you feel. And then we will go into the extended. OK, and see. We'll do a full spread on your person here who actually showed up in your reading and we'll see how they feel about you and what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. Okay. But let's, let's look at more of your energy from another deck here. Virgo feel about this person let's see how does Virgo feel about this person how does Virgo feel about this person six of cups in reverse 
feel like that came out in your last reading. Hermit. Oh, your major arcana card from a whole nother deck. I like it. I love this spiritual journey that you're on. The nine of wands again in reverse. The same cards. Same energy. The seven of swords with the queen of swords in reverse. In reverse. Yep. So again, it's the same energy, Virgo. Energy of you letting go of the past. Eight, the six of cups with the hermit here. This is you kind of doing it alone. You know what I mean? You're alone, but you're 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 okay being alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's a difference between being alone and lonely. And I don't think you're lonely. I'm not getting you're lonely. I get that you like. I mean, this is your major arcana card, the hermit. So this is a card about maturity, growth through spirituality. You got the nine of wands here again in reverse from two different tarot decks, which shows me, yeah, you're tired of fighting for this. You're tired of fighting this exhausted you, this connection. And then you got the seven of swords here. So some of y'all, this person could have cheated on you. They could have betrayed you. They could have hid something from you. Something here they did that was pretty deceptive. And I feel like you went queen of swords in reverse. You either block this person out or you just don't want to deal with them. You know what I mean? Five of wands in reverse. Here it is twice. You trying to keep your peace here. Drama free now. <laughs> because this person is gone. King of cups. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And I feel like this person does love you. I feel like they do have feelings for you. But this person is... It's just too much with them. You know what I mean? Sometimes just because you love somebody, that don't mean, you know, you're supposed to be with them. You know, but I see you just trying to let go of the past. I see you just trying to heal. You know what I mean? Um, this person put you through a lot. They exhausted you. That's what I keep getting for a lot of you. You know? So let's go into your extended now, Virgo. I'm going to pull your person's cards. I'm going to see how they feel about you, what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And I'll also get advice for you from the universe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all your love and your support. I appreciate all of you. I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas. Bye.